welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing another house to home video. You guys can see that we are in my front entryway if you've never seen it before. We painted this on a vlog and we got this from Poster Jack. It's actually one of Francis's art pieces or photography pieces. It's beautiful. But anyways, we are doing my entryway today or our entryway today and I'm really excited about this one. This is actually the third video out of four that I am collaborating with Structube. So huge thank you to Structube for sending me a few pieces for this entryway. I'm so excited. Without further ado, let's get into it. I'm going to show you guys a little bit of a before. It's very just plain and blank right now. We don't have any entryway table or anything like that. So let's get into it and then we're going to transform it. Woo! So we are starting off this video with a little overview, like I mentioned in the intro, of what the entryway looks like right now. It's a pretty decent space. I absolutely love the angled wall and the wall that we actually painted black. I think it looks so good at the end of the hallway, but this is kind of what we're working with. So the first thing that I wanted to get out of the way was just building all of the furniture before I started placing it. So this is the Zach bench. This was sent to me by Structube. So thank you so much to Structube for that. It is a beautiful bench and it was extremely easy to make like every other piece of furniture from Structube. And then this right here is the entryway table that I actually purchased from Wayfair. I will have that link down below for you guys. And then I also got a mirror that I didn't show me unpackaging, but there was just honestly a box and I didn't have to bake anything, but this is just me going over and sweeping the entire space that I'm going to be decorating. So my number one thing is I always make sure to sweep and make sure the space is clean before you add anything to it. You might as well do that. So next up, we are getting right in to decorating. This was the entryway table. Like I said, I got from Wayfair. I'll have that link down below for you guys. I got it on sale during the way days, but I figured I could kind of layer this with the mirror. Obviously, you guys can see here with me standing in front of it that it's not a full head to toe mirror. You can't actually stand in front of it and see your entire body as well as your head. Your head is cut off, but the main purpose for this was to let in some more light and to kind of make this space a little bit bigger or at least feel a little bit bigger. And then also you guys will see in a second that I put the bench right in front of it. So when you're sitting on the bench, you can actually see your entire outfit as well as your face. So that is a really good thing. But underneath the entryway table there, you guys can see that I got this basket here. I picked that up actually a few days ago from HomeSense. And then I put a picture there that says, this must be the place. I thought it was a perfect quote for an entryway. So that is from HomeSense. And then this lamp that I'm showing you guys here is from Structube. It is called the Elena or Elena lamp. And it has some copper accents on it, which fit perfectly with the entryway. And the cord was actually white. So I plugged it in and it was perfect because you can't really see it against the white wall. So definitely go check that out. That'll be linked down below. But getting back to everything else on the table, we have some fake plants there from Michaels. The vase is from HomeSense. The candle and the candle holder is from Bath and Body Works. And then I also have that little tray there that I actually got from a thrift store and spray painted it copper. And then I have a few books there. I got Homebody, I have Misty Copeland's book, and then we're moving on. So this is the Zach bench that I showed you guys before. Absolutely love this, but you guys can see here that unfortunately, it is a little bit too long and what Francis and I have decided is we're just going to try to find a shorter bench for out here. Eventually when we find that we will move this Zach bench into our bedroom and then put the new shorter bench out here. But for now this will just have to do until we find a perfect one. But that pillow that I put on the bench there is actually from Structube as well. They did not send that to me. I did purchase that with my own money. They have the cutest pillows ever, guys, and they are very, very affordable. I believe that pillow there, I got a few of them and they were each like $15 or $16, which is amazing. And they're so cute. But you guys can see here that I got this runner. This I purchased at the same time as the basket underneath the entryway table. And this is from HomeSense. I believe it was about $29.99, which I thought was an amazing, amazing price for a runner because they're pretty large. But this one here, I actually got the same trip. And this I am putting at our front door. We actually got a few um, sticky carpet things. I don't know what they're called, 
but that made a huge difference in making sure both of these rugs stay down because this area here will be a very high traffic area with us going out and coming back in and having guests and all stuff like that. So definitely recommend getting some carpet clings or whatever. But moving on to the last thing in this space, I am just quickly hanging up a few of Francis' photographs that he took. One of them being a bald eagle. I'm not 100% sure where he took that one. But the other one is a bird that he took when we were in New York together. Um, we went to the Central Park Zoo and he got that photograph. So these are absolutely beautiful and that is everything. So let's get on to this final reveal, shall we? video. I hope you enjoyed seeing me redo or just decorate the entryway. This has been a blank space in our house for a very long time, ever since I moved in. So very happy to have a bench to sit on, which I did mention in the video that we are going to be getting a slightly shorter one because you guys probably did see in the video that it's a little bit long. And yes, Francis has already hit his knee on it because he's clumsy. <laughs> Also, I'm so happy to have a mirror in our entryway just to check out my outfit before I leave. Obviously, it is not tall enough to see like my face, but when you are sitting on the bench, you can see your entire outfit and your face, which is wonderful. But yeah, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below what your favorite part of the entryway is. There's only one more video in this series, which is our bedroom. I'm not 100% sure when that's going up. We've already done most of it. We're just waiting for one more piece of furniture um, for Francis' clothes, so like a dresser type of piece. So be sure to get excited about that. If you're not subscribed already, definitely subscribe, hit the notification bell so you get notified when that video goes up and any other home decor planner related vlog goes up. Anyways, I love you guys so much. Remember, you are somebody's reason to smile. Thank you so much to Structube for sending me those few pieces and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys! Hey guys, what is up?